it's T with T quilts and I'm here to do a haul on the Facebook marketplace I have mentioned in previous videos that I sometimes shop the Facebook marketplace because I'm looking for particular items and this time I was actually looking for sewing machines and I'm also trying to find a Gemini junior so instead I came up on this lady who was selling quilting fabric and it was very reasonable price I paid $25 each for three bags of fabric and this is good quality fabric some of it has come from Joann's but it's on a better selection of the Joann's but most of it came from some quilt shop it's quilting fabric so I thought that I would share this haul with you stay tuned while I point you down <music> piece of this fabric already came wrapped onto a comic book board and I don't have to do any work I can just sit these in stacks don't have to worry about the stacks falling over they are at least a half yard to a yard every piece I don't know exactly how much yardage because I have not unwrapped any of this but I thought that I would start with this fabric here kind of look like the old jacks I'm not sure what it's called some of the fabric has salvage information but it's Laura Lee designs and it's 2016 mill pattern number 136 but it doesn't have an actual name for the fabric but I love it this one I am putting to the side I'm going to show you all the fabric that I'm keeping first and then this one is another pretty like floor de lee kind of floral leafy kind of print and let's see this one is brother and sister design studio don't have a name another piece that I'm keeping just any of the black and whites kind of a floor a fern kind of print and then also this hound's tooth and it has plenty of yardage on here so it's at least a yard to a yard and a half and then this fabric is one that was already in my stash and I was wanting more of it it's just one of those really pretty yellows that pulls in a little bit of orange not only did she have one she had two of them wrapped and this is the earth series by Diane Letty I think for Northcutt so yes, this is one of my favorite fabrics and to find two of them, I felt like I already had my money's worth. <laughs> but, that's not all guys. I got a whole lot more. And I have it kind of sorted a little bit by colorways because I'm going to be making jelly rolls with this fabric, I think. So here is our next stack of fabrics. And I'm just going to put them face down here and you can just look at them and I'm not gonna go into the names because I've got way too many fabrics will be here forever but I'll just flip them over so that you can see lots of yardage on this one again and it feels like it's quilt shop quality this one kind of feels like seersucker fabric a little bit but I think it'll still work in a quilt block So all of these colors here will be in a jelly roll and I'm probably going to make jelly rolls with like 15 in a jelly roll something like that so if I run out of one color I can just add in another fabric here's that uh, weird texture print again and the last one in this stack so this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is 17 fabrics. And what I showed you before was six different fabrics. So.
so this one here I am going to add blues with some brown and it's because of one print in here that had the brown and blue so that's the theme for this category This is eight. Thirteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. So that's 20, and I'm going to write these numbers down because I know I'll forget. <laughs> so we had 6, 17, and 20. So right now we're at 43 pieces of fabric. And we're just going to slide this one over. Next stack here. It's kind of aquas and greens. So here is one. This is probably the least amount of fabric that I've received on this one. So that's one. Four. Seven. Nine, and this one here was the one that actually inspired my colorway for this jelly roll. So this is eleven, twelve, So here I have 16 pieces of fabric. We are now up to 59 pieces. And this last batch of fabrics, let me just see if I can maneuver these a little bit better. Are all kind of hodgepodge. So they like or prints or something that I don't know exactly what category to put in or they're just different. This here is camouflage. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about keeping this because I might be able to make somebody something with that. And these are like that thicker cotton that you can like use for tote bags. So I might end up keeping these as well to use for tote bags. And it's a lot of yardage on here. And there are a couple more pieces like that. So maybe I need to pull this out to the side because that's more cotton this feels just a little bit thicker so that's two here's three this is some stuff that I probably will keep because I had so many blue in the previous stack that I thought I'll just keep some of the blue four keeping one of the browns five six Seven, eight, and here are some that are multicolor. Nine, some turtles. Ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and I'm just going to move my stack over. Here is sixteen, seventeen, 
18. Nineteen and twenty. Some kitty fabric, twenty. And this is the same material as over there. It's twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, and 28. So I am now going to tally that up. 28. So, guys, I just counted 87 pieces of fabric. And I paid $75, so I didn't even pay a dollar um, per each piece. And so if you were thinking of this in terms of fat quarters, I didn't even pay a dollar per fat quarter. So this is the actual, all of the fabric. I'm trying to just get it into the camera frame here. Slide it out just a little bit. Just stacking it up for you guys so you can see it before I show you the last item that I got on the Facebook marketplace and that so you're gonna see some of my card making supplies because that's currently what I'm working on right now but I wanted to show you all of this fabric here and forget the bouncing but yeah all of this fabric $75 already wrapped and she had other things that were already taken um I ha she had a stack of pinks and a stack of chevrons that i wanted but somebody else had beat me to it and it was only on the marketplace for like 20 minutes when i saw it so it was just very weird that they were gone so fast but i actually picked up my stuff before the other people picked up theirs but anyway let me clear this out and then i will come back and show you the last item that i got Okay, guys, the last thing I got from the Facebook Marketplace was this Singer 503A, and it actually has cams that go inside of here. This lid actually will lay down when I don't have the thread spool on it. It only came with the machine, the foot, and then they also had a printed manual, which was very helpful. Um, a lot of the older machines, it's a chore in order to thread these machines. It's a whole lot. And then the lady also sold it to me and didn't even give me a bobbin. But I paid $35 for this machine. I'm hoping that it works. I've done some test sewing and I'm having some difficulty. And I'm not sure if it's the cord or if it's the machine that's part of the problem. So I'm going to take it to someone and see if they can look at it. But um, I thought that I would buy this machine in the event that we need some extra machines for the retreat then I'd have another machine and then by the time I get it serviced uh, the rental fee for it will almost cover it but I think for $35 plus say another 50 to get it serviced that that's a pretty good deal so I went ahead and bought that one from the marketplace thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t quilters stay blessed